It's not really starting out to be a great day. He's definitely going backwards. You need it to live. Quads, mom, really? <laughs> well, tonight has just gone from bad to worse. I'm so sorry. She's not feeling good. Good morning, guys. This little lady, I'm afraid she might have what Goat had a couple years ago. I'm pretty sure she was in the same group as Goat, so I just wonder if she's got maybe Vesna. Um, she's obviously struggled pushing out that first one because she's got a bit of a pinched back end, so I'm a little concerned, but she seems to be up and moving now. Okay. Baby's very hungry, so I gotta feed her, him, her. I've got that little lamb in the warm room I gotta take care of. The thing about that lamb is it's uh, breathing funny. Like it's pretty labored. So I gave, I gave it a little shot of dexamethasone yesterday, but this morning it's still, it's not talking. And typically that's a good sign. If they hear you and they start chirping, those are the things you wanna see. And I didn't see that this morning, so. My gut is saying there's something going on with him as well. Do you want me to get you a bottle? I'm going to get some bottles going here this morning. It's not really starting out to be a great day. We're going to have to do something about that. Hey, sweetie. Yeah, her little lungs are just going. Mm, no sucking reflex this morning. Nothing. That's not good. What has gone on here? There you go. There you go. There's something going on with his lungs. I just knew he wasn't chirpy enough this morning. Like last night, a lot more life. And we drank out of the bottle last night, so he's definitely gone backwards. Let's put you back, okay? Lay down. Can you guys hear him? That's not, that's not right. <sighs> I don't know what to do with this little man. I am wondering if he's a bit hot, but I do think it's respiratory. Do you want to see if your mommy will take you back? So he has been tube fed twice. I don't know if he'll perk up with mom. Do you want to see if mommy will take you? I really don't think he's strong enough, but Let's go see. I think it might be a bit warm in here for you. What do you think? Is it a little fresher in here? It's not too, too cold today, so we should be okay. I think it's supposed to hit five today and sunny. Here's your little <coughs> oh, so 
Is it pink, baby? Maybe? Mm. You think, Mom? You still remember? This is a good sign. got some pretty exciting mail today. This is from a fellow YouTuber. They have a sheep farm over in, I'm gonna say the UK. I got a t-shirt and a new toque, which, do they know me or do they know me? And a new hoodie. So that is very exciting. Thank you so much, you guys. I did not do this yesterday. I was so tired when I got home. We're actually 22, but we're gonna do 21. Oh boy, this one's hard. You guys, look who's standing up with her, with his mommy. Hey, buddy. Doesn't look to be pant. Like, he doesn't look to be laboring as much now. Do you think he was too hot? You do have to worry about that. I know everyone's very concerned when we don't put coats on our lambs. Well, lambs are born with a wool jacket, so they really only need that coat when they're wet and it's chilly in here. But he was in a warming box. He was in a warm room, like a 15 degrees Celsius room, if not warmer and a coat, so I took that coat off last night because I'm like, I wonder if he's too hot, but like he's not even, he's not panting. Like he's not, like he was really struggling before lunch. Unreal, will you drink out of the bottle? I know, I've got a bottle for you too. We're feeding her as well. I'm coming. You look so good. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe this. Let's try this. Yeah, still nothing. No, no drinky drinky. All right. Well, I did bring the tube again. So much to your dismay, we will have to keep you fed. So we're gonna do this. There, buddy. Come here, Mom. That's your baby. I did want to come on uh, la last year sometime, I think. Uh, someone decided to message me and tell me that I was not uh, tubing my lambs right. Even though, since I've switched to this, I've never, knock on wood, never drown a lamb so I think the problem is this isn't a stomach tube this is just a feeding tube so it's really just getting it through like down its throat a little bit it doesn't go right into the lamb's stomach so if you see here maybe there's tick marks on this hose can you see that so that is literally life-saving for me so um, that's really why someone gifted me my first one of these and I've never looked back because uh, this tells me how far it should go. Somehow with these, like the lamb, you're sort of working with the lamb, the lamb sort of swallows it instead of like just forcing it down the stomach. Uh, I've had stomach tubes before, I hate them. I can't get like the syringe and the thing and I don't have enough hands. This, you can clip onto a gate and I've just, 
it's amazing and I promise you that uh, this thing has saved more lambs than than not and the ones that didn't make it is not because of this right well considering today is Friday before Christmas I figured everything is probably gonna be closed up everything meaning the vet clinic by probably noon tomorrow and I was out of dexamethasone so I was like should I get some and induce these ewes? So for these ewes, if they were bred on the very last day, uh, they would be technically at day 140, day 142. If I induce them today, two days from now, they'd be at a gestation of 144 days. Gestation on these sheep, I always say 145, mine go anywhere from 140 to like 147. So they're full term. My problem is, I'm here every day, but I am not here boxing day. So Carissa is willing to take care of all the ladies that day, but my fear is all of them wanting to pop on boxing day. There is still at least 15 to go. And I'm not comfortable with her dealing with 15 of these. The problem with inducing them is they might go in 48 to 50 hours, which is when they should, which would be Christmas Day, which would be perfect. But some don't. And then I'm like, well, what if they all, like, then they all drop on Boxing Day? So this is, this is my dilemma, to induce or not to induce. That is the question. Mark said induce them. Just don't know. Well, I decided to do it. It doesn't hurt to induce them because if they're gonna lamb, they're gonna lamb whether I induce them or not. And they are right at their due date. So I'm not really hurting anything. I'm just sort of giving them a timeline. So what I did is I set up a few more pens and I put them all in pens. So now I have to let them out of the pens because they don't like being squished, especially with those babies in their bellies. But it's the least stressful way to do it because I don't want to rodeo. I didn't want to run them around with and try to use a cane on all these pregnant mamas. So they stay really, really calm if they're like tight in with other ewes and they can feel other ewes. They're, they, didn't, they didn't even flinch at all. We have made it to the night check and I am happy to announce I think we have babies. If the cameras are correct, I believe there's one and probably one en route if it's not already dropped. Hey mom, well done. Good job. Hey, bud. Not a 
boy. This one's a little rosier. Good job, Mom. Please be it. Four. Quads, Mom, really? We didn't need quads. No. Hi. Let's slide right out. So how are you so clean and number three was so dirty? Look at the little girl. Hey, are you awake? That's it. Now, mom's got milk. It's got a very low udder, which is not For four lambs. I'm gonna feed them, because they're hungry. And feed these guys. Okay, everybody's had a drink. My four, my one, <laughs> and my little one is still alive, but his mouth is just clamped like a vice. So we're two feeding this one until it gets strong enough that it decides it wants to live. But I mean, it's not panting anymore and it's standing a lot. So we'll see. We're not gonna get our hopes up, but if by chance he makes it, it will be because <laughs> We haven't given up. Uh, it might be a late night. I'm gonna come back to top off those lambs again. I'll just come out at like eight or nine tonight so they make it to morning. I just wanna make sure they have enough colostrum before lights out tonight. morning we have uh, a runaway and either two mamas or one mama and a stealer did you both have one I don't think so that one's too small what are you doing you got a little starfish going on now stuff's starting to roll which is good okay I'm gonna move these guys around get my cardio in for the morning Got about like probably 80 mils, which is amazing. You need more than that. Do I two feed the rest? I might just two feed the rest. So we've had a few other developments uh, this morning. The mama with the twins that had the stealer. Uh, the one lamb that was sort of doing a starfish. Uh, wouldn't drink, so check temp 34.7. So definitely under 37, so I can't feed it yet. So she is in the warm room on the heating pad. I didn't do the dextrose because she's registering. So usually my rule is if 
the thermometer isn't registering, so if it says low, automatic dextrose. Dextrose right away. And then the heating pad, and maybe even a bath if the temp doesn't come up. Um, but when it's registering, it means they've just dipped. So these guys were born probably a couple hours ago, and I don't think that lamb's found her feet. So she hasn't been able to get up and have a drink, and her temp has crashed a little bit. She's not knocking on death's door, basically. So uh, she's in with the dogs right now. I'll go see what her temp is. If it's still not at 37, we'll run to the house, have a coffee, and then come back and see what her temp is after that. Hey, buddy. Keep calling you a her. Are you a her? You are a her. Let's try your temp again. 36.5. So we are a half a degree away. Here, I'll put you back in there. We'll just hang out here for half a degree. Let's see what you're doing now. We're there. That's a sweetheart. Okay. We're over 37, which means we're gonna try to feed her. You're a little limpy still. Mm -hmm. What's that? No? No sucking reflex. So, nothing? You sure? Nope. Okay, we're gonna tube her. I know, no one likes this. No one likes it. But you need it. You need it to live. Yes, you do. I'm gonna turn this down. We don't want you cooked. No. Hmm. We'll let that sit for a bit. Alright. How you doing? Oh, that's a good sign. Do you want to try? Do you want to try a bottle? Your little legs are jello, jello, jello. Oh, oh yeah. No, you did for a sec. Come on, come on. I don't know what is wrong with these lambs. They just don't have thrift. And their siblings do, so why? Let's tube feed you. I'm gonna try and bring her back with mama. She uh, can't walk yet, but mom's in a pen. I just don't want mom to lose the scent. I was worried about it being too cold before. That's why she was in the warm room. But now we have to worry about them getting too warm. So once you get the temp up and you can get food into them, they really are off to the races, unless it was like minus, minus whatever in here, but it's not. So we're gonna... We're gonna put you with mom because that seemed to work wonders with the other one. This one's really weak though. You're looking better, buddy. He's actually looking at mom like, get up, I want some food. Hey mom, do you remember me? Let's put you here. Do you remember? It's your baby. Mm -hmm. She responds to you. Then you're fine. Why? Like, why the difference? Aww. Talking to mom. Mom's such a sweetheart, so I think I think it's better for them psychologically if they can start talking and like she's already really perked up. Are you in labor? Someone's talking. We got one. 
in very active labor. I see a nose and I see a foot. Good job, Tweenies! Uh, Tweenies! Little orange twins! Came out for another um, lamb feeding session since I'm feeding right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, six bottle babies. <laughs> Lots of fun. And I noticed some feedies. Well, I will feed babies and then just keep an eye on her. I'm just gonna give mama a bit of a hand because it's been in her doorway for a, a little longer than I'm comfortable with. I don't want that head to get squished. You got it. You got it, mama. Good girl. Beauty. Good girl. Here you go. Here you go. He's a boy. And he's perfect. He's right here. Put your head down, honey. I'm going to let you push that one a bit. So she's got another one in her, but I'm going to let her push the baby up because it's like down here. You getting it out, Mama? Good girl! Oh, good girl! Two feet and a nose. Hey, buddy. Oh, good girl. Hi, sweetie. Good girl. <laughs> Beautiful. That's it. Good girl. <laughs> Two is good. Very, very good. Well, I have been watching this lady from the house, and I think she's trying to push something out. Anyway, she has a bloody stringer, which I don't love. I might feed some bottles and get that started, and then uh, see if she progresses on her own and interfere if needed. Come on, Mama. You gotta get that one out. Please. When I tell you I have tried everything to revive this lamb, everything. It just, it wouldn't catch a breath. It was trying and it was fighting and I just kept trying to feel for a heartbeat and there wasn't one. It was just like such a weak, dying heartbeat as soon as he was born. And it was my first Billy. It was a big pull, but it wasn't crazy. I just basically helped get the shoulder popped, but he just doesn't have a heartbeat. I keep like pressing my hand here to like, come on. I'm so sorry. 
Oh, he's perfect. All right, well, I'm gonna check mom. I doubt she had another one. He's huge. Okay, that's a single, so I might grab a lamb. It's all been fed, of course. guy. There's your new babies. And these guys are totally trained on the bottle now, so I have no idea, but if they're hungry, she's full of milk, so that would be two less bottle babies. Well, tonight has just gone from bad to worse. Uh, we just lost another lamb and it was born with a heartbeat. Eyes opened and it just crashed. It would not catch a breath. That one and that little Billy lamb, like they just, they're huge lambs. Now that one was upside down and backwards. So whether it just, it was just too traumatic of a birth, it could be. So then I grabbed the triplet off the one that you guys just saw. My battery's dying. This tracks. I grabbed one of the triplets to put with this mama. And this triplet is like not very thrifty either. So not a great night, you guys. 